Okay, so, hello everybody. For a real quick, hopefully short video. <clears throat> this is um, one of the fruit cakes that I made. Uh, I made two of them. This one's bread pan, this one's a cake pan. Um, this is a 8x4x2 by by bread pan. And then this was just a 10 inch, I think 10 inch, uh, cake pan. And the recipe that I used makes up 12 cups of batter, uh, but it obviously fit perfectly into two different pans. Um, I did it just because I wanted to see the differences. Um, this one is going to be a little bit trickier one for me because the bot this is the bottom and it's stuck really bad to the cake pan, even though I buttered this prior to me pouring the batter into the pan. But what stuck was actually some of the fruit that settled to the bottom. Uh, right, and I just I took did the tricky part of unwrapping it uh, from plastic wrap first and then it's wrapped prior to the so it goes cheesecloth and then wrapped in plastic wrap and then I put it in the bag because that's what I have. Uh, now this is really actually pretty dry, the cheesecloth cake, or not cheesecake, the uh, fruit cake soaked the rum up pretty well, which is one of the reasons why you have to soak the cheesecloth every month, or every week, I mean, for a long time. <laughs> it says on the recipe about eight weeks, just two months. My grandmother said it'll be really good by Thanksgiving, which is like six months away. <laughs> but I concur with her on that note. Um,
<laughs> Told you it was kind of cake. on the cheesecloth is normal, it's from the cake. Well, one whole shot of Captain Morgan's spiced rum. This is the cheapest rum I could find. In fact, that's actually the only rum I could find at the Sprouts up by my parents' house. Literally the only bottle of rum. If I had my way and a broader selection of rum, I would have probably used Kraken. It tastes better. It's darker. Richer. 
be wrapped fruitcake with cheesecloth, uh, the vast majority of which is on top where the, most of the burnt is on this one. And that's it. Thanks for watching, guys.